It's true, this Negroni has 17 ingredients, and it's ridiculous. This tasty beverage is the product of an Infinity Cocktail. Now, for the uninitiated, an Infinity Cocktail is a batched cocktail that you're constantly subtracting from and adding to. It's an extension of the Infinity Bottle, the concept of taking the last smidge of a bottle that's almost empty and adding it to another bottle with the last bits of other spirits in the same category. The point is, it's constantly changing by virtue of what you add to it. Some people are super into this. I'm not one of them. I have this much Black Maple Hill left, and damned if I'm going to mix the last of it with a bunch of other whiskeys. No way. I'm saving this for when nukes are headed towards LA. But I'll happily pour off a little from bottles as I acquire them and make a big Franken cocktail out of it. I know, I know, six of one, half a dozen of the other. I got the idea to do this from Aaron Goldfarb, a Brooklyn-based drinks writer. I'll link to the article below, and Aaron, if you're out there, thank you. Before I show you how to start one of these bad boys, know that this doesn't work with all cocktails. It works best with what we in the bar biz call aromatics, which are drinks that contain only booze. Old Fashioned, Manhattan, Sazerac, you get the idea. Because if you want to make an infinity cocktail with a whiskey sour or a daiquiri, too bad. I mean, you're welcome to try, but I don't recommend it. But if you do, let me know how it goes. Now, if you've been watching my videos for a while, you'll know I'm an absolute rum fanatic, so deciding what cocktail to start was pretty easy. I had to do a rum Negroni. So I made five different Negronis from these bottles, but instead of making them in the glasses, I poured them directly into the bottle in the center and threw it in the freezer. Whenever I want some, I just pour over ice. Oh, that's another benefit? It's super low effort. After I've poured off a few drinks worth, I make a couple more rum Negronis using different ingredients. The more you add over time, the more complex the drink gets. Just don't pour off too much without refilling. And the end result is this fabulous drink that you really can't get any other way. I mean it when I say it's one of the best drinks I've ever had. If you have a largish bottle selection, you absolutely should start one of these. They're a lot of fun and they taste incredible. And if you do decide to start one, leave a comment and let me know what cocktail you choose. If you liked it, hit like. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. And if there's something you think I should try, let me know in the comments. To infinity and beyond!